Tonight, we continue our series, Sleepless in America, the high cost of lost sleep in this frenetic society. The subject is insomnia. And as NBC's Fred Francis tells us, the consequences go well beyond the lost sleep of anyone suffering from it. It's true. <laughs> one and two there. Yeah, right. And, and does this guy have other uh, girls he's seeing? No wonder we can't sleep anymore. America has become midnight radio, moonlight bowling, round-the-clock laundry, late-night drive throughs 24-hour diners, and all-night copy shops, where minutes click by like an overdue term paper, and this is the closest some get to sunlight. More and more Americans, some 25 million, like aspiring singer Richard Johnson, are working the graveyard shift. If I work in the daytime, I can't take care of anything else. So if I work at night, I get my whole day. Between his work and music, he gets only about five hours sleep. But while Richard chooses to sleep less, a recent Gallup poll shows half of all adult Americans can't sleep on occasion. More than one in 10 of us can't sleep on a regular basis. LA graphic artist Lori Injun has had trouble falling asleep since she was nine. At slumber parties, I would, um, couldn't sleep. I'd end up getting up and wandering around the person's house and looking at the girls, all so peaceful. Because she was sleeping only a few hours a night, chronic fatigue began hampering her at work and home. I would burst into tears and say, well, I'm not sleeping, you know, and I, I felt like that's no excuse. At UCLA Sleep Lab, Dr. Gerald Simmons says Lori's insomnia came from restless leg syndrome, where a limb twitches at night, and what he calls poor sleep hygiene. Bad habits that can include fluctuating bedtimes, afternoon naps, and caffeine or alcohol too late in the day. For the twitching legs, he gave her a prescription for her sleep habits on new routine. She had to wake up every day at the same time. She had to cut out caffeine, and she worked on relaxation in the evening. Now Lori is getting the rest she needs, but for others it's still a struggle, like business travelers. Almost 133 million had trouble sleeping while on the road last year. That's why researchers estimate that the total cost of going sleepless in America may be as high as $50 billion a year. An indication that running around the clock, whether by choice or not, may be too costly for all of us. Fred Francis, NBC News, Washington.